everybody, wanted to address one of those commonly asked questions. We actually get this quite a bit from our IT directors. So what the question is, is while using wireless screen sharing, how can we go ahead and just add some additional safeguards in there to ensure that the people we want to be sharing their screens are, and those who we may not want to share are not allowed. So excellent question. And absolutely, you do have a couple of different options in here that will give you a little bit more control to moderate your screen sharing sessions. So let's go ahead and pop in there and take a peek. So when you go into New Line Cast, which is our wireless screen sharing, of course, you do have a couple of options. So if you're on the same network as the panel, you could do a direct AirPlay or Chromecast, Google Cast, those types of things. However, if you are not on the same network as the panel, you do have the option either to go through the app or the URL to share your screen up to the panel. And as long as you know the session ID, you could go to the website and get connected to the panel. So you have some options to give you a little bit of control and some added features while you're using wireless screen sharing. So I'm gonna pop down into settings. The first one is the second option under session management. Definitely recommend this just in general because it does give you uh, quite a bit of functionality when you're doing wireless screen sharing. And that is to turn moderator mode on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that on. And you'll see, I'm gonna close out of settings for a moment. As I do that, it actually reset my session ID. I gained something new called grid view, which allows you to have up to four people sharing simultaneously. But now anybody who gets connected to your panel cannot share unless they are invited. So the only thing that's gonna happen is they're actually gonna pop up over in the queue here on the right side, and they will be able to go ahead and share once they're invited. But if they don't get invited, they're just gonna hang out in the queue and they really can't do anything from there. Uh, so it does give you good control over who is sharing and when, uh, which is fantastic. And another option I recommend, if you're turning moderator mode on and you wanna make sure that you have an added layer of protection, is to actually go back into settings. You can pop into security. And what you can do is you can actually lock your settings. So it would make you need to set a passcode here. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, make it easy one, not a problem. But now if I wanted to go in, you see I can't switch any of this. So if you turn on moderator mode, you can power down, power on, your setting will save. But if somebody was to go in and manually shut that off, then of course it wouldn't be on anymore. So you can go into security here and you can lock your settings so that way things cannot get turned on and off. There is an additional option that you do have if you wanted to, just depending on how you wanna get connected, of course, you could allow only local connections, which would mean only being able to use Apple AirPlay or Google Cast. Um, completely up to you. You do you, but that is an option that you have. So you can kind of control things here. Uh, the other option you have too is, hey, not a problem. We're going to allow faculty uh, or folks to get connected through the app, but maybe on the network, we're going to block the URL. But just know if you block that URL on your network, it blocks it for anybody who may be trying to get connected here. So they would either have to have the app or they would need to be able to be on the same network and use AirPlay or Google Cast. But hopefully that gives you just a couple of little tips and tricks for how you can go ahead and control your setting. And again, when you're in Google, Google Cast, when you're in our New line screen sharing, your settings are down on the bottom left. Session management is where you'll find moderator mode and security is where you can go ahead and lock your settings. Of course, you always have the option as well. When you're done with your screen sharing session and you're no longer going to need screen sharing, you know, for your rest of your period or the hour or your curriculum or whatever it is, uh, I do recommend folks on the side toolbar, the second to the last option, which is your active source option. Let me get 
nice and close to the camera here is that icon right there, that little window in window. You can go ahead and just give that a tap. And what you can do, you can either hit the little X to completely close New Line Cast on your panel, or if you wanted to, of course, you could close all open apps. But I'm just gonna go ahead and close Cast, and now you can see it's not even running. So uh, there we are. Hopefully that gives you some food for thought on how to manage your wireless screen sharing applications. Uh, I am going to give you a good website just to check out that will walk you through a lot of the functionality and personalization that you can do in New Line screen sharing. I'm just going to pop into my browser and what it is, it's actually the Display Note Academy because again, we partner with them for our screen sharing application. Uh, they do have one for IT facilitators. So you are going to be managing how you want to set this up. Uh, great food for thought on how you can go ahead and do that. You can follow the IT facilitator track. And of course, they also have one for a teacher portal that also includes things like curriculum and use case scenarios. Please reach out with any questions. Here to support you for anything you need. And I hope you're having a great day. Thanks.